Autopsy prostate cancer is a difficult concept to grasp. Let's say we had a thousand 80-year-old men who all uh, died of heart attacks tomorrow, and we are going to subject them all to autopsy. We'll take their prostate out and we'll slice it up just like they had a radical prostatectomy and we'll look carefully for cancer and we will find it in about 80% of them. Now let's say alternatively we take those same 1,000 men, they didn't have any heart attack, and instead we're going to subject them all to 12 core biopsies. We will find about half of those autopsy type cancers, or 40% of the men will be found to have positive biopsies. So now you can see the problem. If PSA becomes elevated because of benign enlargement of the prostate, some prostate inflammation, somebody rode a bike to the doctor's office, they had intercourse that morning, then they could be undergoing biopsies because of an elevated PSA, but you could find in 40% of these men an autopsy-type prostate cancer that would never have caused their death. And so now we have to try and figure out which ones of those autopsy prostate cancers are we actually finding by biopsy and we should not be treating.